Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're back with another video comparison between four phones. Of course, this time it is the OnePlus 8 Pro versus the Galaxy S20 Ultra versus the uh, Huawei P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, we're starting off with the front facing camera. The OnePlus only shoots at 1080p, 30 frames per second. And the Galaxy does this at 4K60. So one is 1080, OnePlus, Galaxy is a 4K60. And then we are going to switch to the rear cameras. But before that, let's check out the other phones. So I've switched over to the uh, P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. You're gonna hear audio from each of them. Gonna of course take the same path and then we will switch to the rear cameras as well. Now, the one thing you guys will know is that these two phones do not support super steady uh, or action camera features. That's something the um, OnePlus 8 Pro and the Galaxy uh, S20 Ultra support. So let's go ahead and switch to the rear cameras. So with the front facing camera, audio quality is good on the OnePlus 8 Pro, the Galaxy S20 Ultra, the Huawei P40 Pro, and the iPhone if it doesn't get windy. But this is where OnePlus needed to do 4K 60 for a front facing camera, or at least 4K 30. Now that's just something they have to change, but let's go ahead and check out selfies from all the phones. So looking at both images here, they look nice, except the OnePlus 8 Pro doesn't blur out the background by the gravel, while the S20 Ultra does a good job with that. Uh, the 8 Pro is a, is a brighter image in, in its entirety. The Ultra is more contrasty and also a sharp, a little bit sharper image, especially on my face. But again, both are solid, except of course that uh, background that's not blurred out by the OnePlus 8 Pro. With the P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, both of them have have of course everything blurred out the iphone's a little lighter the p40 pro is more contrasty a little bit more focused as well so you can see that sharpness come to the face the jacket color is a little bit off with both but i would still take it for what they are i do like the p40 pro image more over the iphone 11 pro max now this image here is my girlfriend taking photos and you can see with the oneplus 8 pro her hair she's got a lot of hair and you can see how it's it's having a hard time with the hair as opposed to the S20 Ultra, which does a really good job and also keeps that rich black color of the hair. Her skin tone's also matching well in the S20 Ultra. The OnePlus 8, 8 Pro is a little bit shiny in terms of skin, skin tone. Now the P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max do a good job, of course, with the hair. The P40 Pro, as you can see, there's no blur. For whatever reason, we tried a couple of times, it just didn't actually do anything uh, in terms of blowing out the background, but the images still look sharp and solid. I do like what the iPhone is bringing to the table here. Now, when we move over to a picture with both of us in there, this is the 8 Pro and the S20 Ultra. It's everything's blurred out pretty well. The fingers uh, around her waist are also solid. You can see the the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro little issues with the hair, but this is, they're trying to balance out, of course, two different skin complexions. When we move over to the P40 Pro and the 11 Pro Max, uh, I would say. For me, the P40 Pro image is the one I like the most out of all four uh, in terms of just how it balances out, but I do like the blur, I do like the look, and I think it's a pretty much balanced image from both the P40 Pro and the 11 Pro Max altogether. Now, when we move over to the rear camera, looking at, of course, 4K60 on both devices, the Ultra and the 8 Pro, you can see stability on the 8 Pro is actually pretty good. It's quite comparable to the uh, S20 Ultra in terms of just walking around and moving and checking out the environments and i have to say i'm quite impressed to see what uh, oneplus has brought to the table with this device uh you, you could go either or in terms of stability in terms of you know 4k 60 but it is pretty nice to see how well it does well you can see the skies as well and also the, the way um the colors are pretty much balanced on both images now the s20 ultra image seems a little darker than the 8 pro the 8 pro tends to brighten up his image a little bit 
but I overall like the video quality from both devices at 4K 60, uh, of course, in daylight. Now, when we move over to the P40 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the iPhone 11 Pro Max in terms of 4K 60 stabilization is still unbeating in my mind. The P40 Pro does a good job, but you can see it sway a little bit here. Um, and I do like the way the, um, the Huawei actually captures the sky and the surrounding. A little bit better, I think, for me than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But again, look at the stability here. If I was to, to grade it, I would say, of course, the iPhone 11 Pro Max has the best stability in 4K60, followed by the S20 and the OnePlus both. Uh, be my number two and then uh, number four of course would be the Huawei P40 Pro in terms of stability at 4k uh, 60. Now of course both of these devices have some form of super steady uh, and uh, super steady is 1080p on the Galaxy and 4k 30 on uh, the 8 Pro and as you can see the Galaxy is still just steady and smoother a much cleaner image than what you get from the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro but it's a nice attempt to bump it up to 4K60 I'll still stick with the Galaxy here with super steady now when we go over to just some backlit images here this is the ultra wide camera the OnePlus 8 Pro look at the darker areas this is nice it's the uh, dynamic range pumps things up a little bit the S20 Ultra the dynamic range doesn't bring up those darker edges as much especially after the camera update i got recently uh the huawei p40 pro really highlights everything quite well this is probably my best image here with this backlit shot and the iphone 11 pro max also does a good job well as as well here uh with the backlit shot with the ultra wide camera now when we go to the shot with the regular camera the 8 pro and the s20 ultra both images are nice the s20 ultra looks a little bit more contrasty a little bit sharper for me and then when we zoom into the 3x zoom here you can see it's a bit sharper on the s20 ultra but again it's solid image from the oneplus 8 pro so oneplus is stepping things up and i do like what they bring here the p40 pro and the 11 pro max similar where the p40 is more contrasty the iphone brings in a little more brightness to the image and um you know it also looks really sharp on the p40 pro and then you can see more of that sharpness here again when we zoom in uh you know we've got 2x and then we've got uh 3x here the p40 pro is a little bit sharper for me a much cleaner image now a portrait short outdoors the 8 Pro and the Ultra look nice. I would say the Ultra has the true to life uh, colors because the jeans colors is proper on the Ultra uh, as opposed to the 8 Pro. But again, both images are nice. The skin tone is better on the S20 Ultra. But I, again, I do like it. I like the overall blur patterns from both. So when we move over to the P40 Pro and the 11 Pro Max, the 11 Pro Max the image is again, the colors are a little bit true to life here than the P40 Pro. Both images are nice. The P40 Pro has darkened up the jeans, making more black as it's supposed to be a washed look. But I like the blur patterns uh, and I think both images look pretty solid. I will go with the 11 Pro Max here in terms of images. Now when we move over to nighttime video, we've got 4K 60 and 1080p 30 in the uh, one, uh, OnePlus 8 Pro. You can see the Galaxy does a better job with the front facing camera of uh, 4K 60. You can see me a little bit clearer, uh, it's, a, it's less fuzzy and also the image is a bit sharper with the uh, Galaxy S20 Ultra over the OnePlus 8 Pro in terms of the light video. Now, when it comes to the iPhone and the Huawei P40 Pro, both images are not that great. And I think this is where both of them need to work on. The Huawei P40 Pro is a little bit sharper, or you could say clearer, if you will. Now I would say sharper. Uh, but in terms of just recognizing what you're looking at, unless you don't know who I am or you can't see my teeth, then you really can't see anything clearly unless you get in more light into the situation. So not good for me there well the front facing camera this is of course where uh, samsung really shines here the s20 ultra's front facing camera is really uh just solid you can see how sharp it is you can see details on my face as opposed to the much softer image on the oneplus 8 pro it's a better image but i would like to see more improvements there the s20 ultra image really stands out of, out of all the cameras here when we move over to 11 pro max which of course doesn't have a low light camera for the uh, front-facing camera it's much grainy even though it's a little bit brighter than the Huawei P P40 Pro the P40 Pro has sharper details in the background a little bit fuzzier on my face so that's just something to take note in terms of just how it looks but again the Galaxy pretty much wins this department 
and then you have myself and my girlfriend here trying to see of course two different skin tones the front facing camera the s20 ultra does a better job you can see both of us clearly besides of course our teeth and as opposed to the oneplus 8 pro here but in these situations you're going to be using of course a flash just the best thing here uh because uh, even though this is not as dark as you might think but it's a dark environment and here the p40 pro is a bit brighter than the iphone 11 pro max which pretty much has uh, washed out this whole scene together and is very grainy image. So for me, the S20 Ultra front facing camera and low light conditions really hits the mark and uh, takes, takes things uh, to the very next level. Now talking about rear video quality, 4K 60 in both cameras, the OnePlus 8 Pro images here is much sharper and also a bit brighter than the Galaxy S20 Ultra. The S20 Ultra image, even though it's in focus, seems a bit softer, uh, especially when you're moving past the center point. So I definitely, I like what OnePlus has brought to the table with its uh, 4K 60 low light video. Uh, just walking down the street, you can clearly see how, and also the stabilization on the oneplus 8 pro is better than the s20 ultra uh again this is something we know samsung's bringing updates but it's not here yet so uh oneplus 8 pro definitely wins this round with its uh, camera now the huawei p40 pro is a much brighter image i think brighter than all of them all together the iphone is uh, is it kind of same quality as the s20 ultra but the iPhone stability is really solid. Uh, the P40 Pro kind of sways quite a bit and also it's a bit grainy on the image here. Uh, but in, in terms of overall brightness, the P40 Pro gives you a much brighter video image. Uh, as you can see the guy walking past there and also you know taking in more from the street lights and things like that. So that's quite interesting to see. But I think for me, the OnePlus 8 Pro low light video is actually probably the best here. At least, what, I don't know what you guys think, but you know, leave those comments down in the, in the comment section as we move over to the rear camera here this is a photo taken of course outside uh the oneplus image is really nice uh, and sharp there's a lot of details to it uh, uh while the the galaxy image is also sharp it's bringing in a lot of light into light out the boards on the side so there are certain areas that have more light than the galaxy the galaxy has a lot of sharpness on the building itself at the very top uh the oneplus image is a bit darker and toned and when we look at the p40 pro and the 11 pro max both of them are much brighter images than both the oneplus and the galaxy just in terms of overall brightness but there's a lot of light leaking coming from those lights by the door uh which is adding to the image as well i think all four images look pretty good uh but uh, for me i would actually go with either the s20 ultra or the uh oneplus 8 pro now with the ultra wide camera here you can see the oneplus 8 pro um it's a brighter image but not as bright as the galaxy and also the galaxy keeps a lot of detail detail as well so there's a lot of detail there's a uh, good shadow balance here and i think the galaxy image is much better as you know the iphone doesn't have a solid doesn't have ultra wide and low light so of course uh the p40 pro it's better but this is something that p40 pro has been doing to me where it doesn't it takes away the colors from the buildings and keeps it in this very kind of gray neutral tone as opposed to what we saw from the galaxy now this is trying to just recreate a club setting this is a very difficult lighting setting and you can see the huawei and the uh, iphone 11 pro max do a good job i think the huawei does a little bit much better just recognizing skin difference there as opposed to what the iphone does while the galaxy really failed in this uh, environment here this is something where the oneplus 8 pro did a much better job uh, i would say it would be huawei oneplus iphone then the galaxy coming last where it just could not balance out the lighting and our final shot here, it's outdoors, the low light, same place where we took that front facing shot. Uh, the P40 Pro is really nice. The iPhone's also pretty solid. P40 has a little bit more of a brighter image here. The, uh, the iPhone has darkened the jacket uh, outdoors. The hair also looks good. It's a bit fuzzy, but again, it's a low light shot. So I do like what they represent here. And then with the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro and the Galaxy S20 Ultra, both of them come up pretty well. Um, you know, there is uh, a lot of uh, good clarity with the image. Subject is clear. The Galaxy is kind of, um, you know, just darken the skin tone a little bit while the oneplus is brightening it up uh but the jackets are both black and it's much darker with the galaxy the hair texture on the galaxy looks much better than the oneplus 8, 8 pro but i think again really solid low light images you can see the clouds quite clearly and the buildings i think the galaxy does much better with the background as well 
All right, guys, yes, this was a long video, but we've got to see the OnePlus 8 Pro camera in action. Dual 48 megapixel sensors, the ultra wide at 120 degrees. Uh, and I have to say that the cameras have lived up to what OnePlus has said. It's, it's here to play with the big boys. It hangs around pretty well. And there are some areas that of course, it definitely needs improvement. But overall, the OnePlus 8 Pro camera will suffice as a top tier camera for a top tier device. I'd like to see improvements of course, with the front facing camera, uh, with of course, better uh, video at 4K 60 instead of 1080 80p 30 frames per second. And also uh, better edge detection as well with that front facing camera. Uh, maybe some color science as well to be improved. I know they do have a color sensor, but to me it didn't do anything uh, for the camera. But I think overall though, if you're picking up a OnePlus 8 Pro, uh, you won't feel disappointed with the camera it has to offer, especially with its video recording, uh, 4K 60 with the rear camera with daytime and nighttime. And some of the images that we saw were actually pretty good. So if you have any questions or any comments about the OnePlus 8 Pro or any of the devices you see here and you wanna see more, leave a comment down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to stay safe and always enjoy your entertainment.